Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel TS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how to export data to Excel using Power Automate. As I said in my previous video, I will be making three videos to add data to Excel. In my previous video, I had covered how to copy data to CSV. In today's video, I will cover how to add data to Excel in Excel SX format. So let's get started. Over here, what I will do, I'm inside a solution and here I'll create a flow. I'll go to automation and cloud flow and I'll select instant flow. Here I'll name my flow. I'll select a trigger, manually trigger a flow and flow name would be demo add data to Excel. So this is my flow and I'll click on create. So today in my, la in my last video, I got the data from the Power Apps. So I was passing the data from the Power Apps and adding to our Excel. In today's video, I will be getting the data from SharePoint and then adding to the Excel. So I just wanted to cover both the scenarios. So now is the next step what I will do. I'll go to get items. Okay. And I will get data from SharePoint list. Here I'll select all the parameters for site address. I will add my site, which is POC list name. I will select database. And here this is this list has more than 35,000 items. So just to sh show you what are the challenges we will face here. I will put the top here. I will put the top count as 40. Next, I'll get the data, then I will use the select action. So this is my select from, I will put this output from the get item, which is the value list of items. And here for now, I will just add one header, which is policy ID. And we have to get data from this particular value. So I'll go here in the expression, I'll say item to get the data from the current iteration value and here I'll put policy ID. Also, I'll show you my list in SharePoint and here I have database. So over here, you will see we have a column called policy ID. So I'm using this particular column to fetch the data and display. So I'll go back and if I have to show you how many items are there in this particular list, again, I'll go here, I'll say database and items is 36,634. So I'm fetching 40 or 40 items from this particular list. Now I've got the data in this select. Next, what I will do, I will create a file in OneDrive. Okay, so OneDrive for business, create file. Okay, where in the root folder we will do, select root, file name, I will use a grid function that will generate the unique name and please make sure you put the extension XLSX. File content, I will put one empty space. That's it. Now create file is done. Now I want to add a table to this particular file first. I'll say create table because this is Excel format. So I want to create a table. I'll wait. I'll say create table Excel. Okay. Location. I will say OneDrive. Document library. OneDrive. Now file, file, I will get the output from this particular action, create file. So I'll just scroll down and I'll search ID, which is the unique identity, unique identifier of the file. Now table range. So I have only one column. So I'll say dollar a one and don't worry. I will even show you with three columns or four columns, how we can do that. But in case if you wanted to do it in this case, only if you want to do with multiple headers, multiple columns, what you can do. If, for example, if you have three, so you can say C1, if five E, like that you can do. Okay. And column name, policy ID, which is my header. If there are multiple columns, just put a comma and give other columns name. But don't worry, I will cover this also, but in my next video. But I'll tell you, first we'll see the challenge with this particular approach. Then I will tell you why I, I will be creating a next video as well. So create table is also done now. What, what all is done? I got the data. I have created the file. In the file, I have got the table as well. Now I have to add data to a table or I have to add a row. Data means add a row in a Excel. So I'll go here. I'll search add row. There's an action under Excel. So this is dataverse add a row to a table. 
this is fine location same my location is onedrive document library then will become onedrive file you know we have got the file id here is the id unique identifier of the file table table name also i will get from the create table action and here i will get the table name okay and here i have to pass the data but over here i have multiple rows and here it is if you see add a row it will add a single row so i have to run a loop so before that what i will do i will add a loop over here apply to each apply to each i'll say apply to each and i will move this action over here done select an output from previous tab which will come from select this is the output and now over here i'll have to add the row current item so if you just scroll down slowly you will see you should see current item here it is apply to each current item so everything i have added now and if you wanted to send an email the way we have did in my previous what we can do create share link share link okay uh, share link one drive create a share link okay again the unique identifier of the file id got it create file link scope is view if you wanted it you can give link scope would be organization now i've got the link and i can send it to an email so i will use send email v2 this is very simple send an email v2 so i will send an email to myself subject i will say uh, excel file and here i have to send a link so i'll go to the code mode i'll add one anchor tag a hre f is equal to blank first of all double quotes okay i'm pressing wrong key and here i will say excel data in the text part and now here i have to pass the link from where i'll get the link i will get the link from create share link web url so everything is done i will save my flow and then we will run it and let's see if this flow ran successfully we will see all the nitty gritty details and i will show you the main challenge in this particular approach okay now i will click on test manually test here it will ask for the connections run flow sign in over here with all these actions sharepoint onedrive and excel and outlook here all my credentials will go like it will uh, run with under my account continue run flow now let's see one by one so flow is running and over here you will see all these actions ran successfully we got the 40 items create table and now it is adding a data to a excel and see how much time it will take please remember we have got just 40 rows and one column and still it is taking more than 20 seconds now imagine if there are more rows or if i've added more columns because i wanted to showcase you the actual performance issue with this particular approach i have taken some limited action otherwise you know it would have taken minutes to add if there are large number of data so just see how much time it will take to run this one particular action and what is there inside is add a row to a table so the main challenge with this particular approach is the performance so in my next video i will cover we, we will add the data everything will remain the same but how we can you know enhance the performance of this flow or what all or do we have any other approach so it took around 59 seconds just for 40 rows and one column which is not a ideal performance so this is the main challenge with this particular flow now let's see if data got copied or not everything is fine we have got an email i'll go to my outlook from here so guys my i've got an email at 41 and i'll click on it and you see there is one uh, there is one column policy id and you see 
all the 40 rows got moved into the Excel. 41 because first row is the header. So this flow runs successfully. If in your case you are dealing with less number of data, data size is small, you can go with this approach. This is simple. There is no hassle over here. Just use create file action, create table and add data to a add row to a table. That's it. If you wanted to share link over the email, create share link, send an email. But how to get a better performance that I will cover in my next video. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. Till then, much love. Keep learning. Thank you.